What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at large. Today I am in New Jersey in the East Amwell Ringos area. I'm probably right on the borderline of those two towns and I'm here to talk about a very odd story of a woman named Jean Zielinski who all she wanted for Christmas was to cut her mother's head off. December 22nd, 1978. Probably some snow on the ground. Christmas time, New Jersey, everybody's having a good time, drinking too much eggnog, buying gifts for one another. Gee, what does dad want this year? Maybe another ugly tie? And you give that creepy uncle that comes around every once in a blue moon some new underwear. New underwear for the creepy uncle. So you had a family who was not really having a very good times in the household, and that was, of course, the Zelensky household where 77-year-old Julia Zielinski lived in a small five-room house, and she had a 48-year-old daughter named Jean. Now, neighbors said that oftentimes they could hear them bickering, not yelling, but it was, it was more of like a bickering. Now, they said that Julia didn't like the fact that, well, the fact of a couple things about her daughter. Number one, her daughter's 48 years old and she's living at home. She didn't really care for that. She wanted her daughter to get married, have children, and unfortunately she never did that. And uh, one of the neighbors said the reason why they feel that she may have never gotten married and, you know, kind of did the quote unquote normal thing is because uh, she had a, uh, a, a severely lazy eye and maybe that really affected her in life. Maybe she would go to school and be ridiculed and harassed because of it. And so there she was. Also, she was upset at her because Jean had a pretty good local job uh, working for the city. And she decided kind of late in life that she no longer wanted to work for the city. She wanted to go to school to learn how to teach. So you had two women with no jobs, always around each other every day. You had Mother Zelensky uh, constantly bickering, belittling, you know, vexing her daughter. Why didn't you ever get married? How come I don't have any grandkids from you? Why are you living in my house? Why did you quit that good job that you had? And over the course of years and years and years and years of them constantly going at it, finally, on that day, December 22nd, 1978, Jean strangled her mother to death. And she wasn't done with just that. Now, it doesn't say online what she used to strangle her mother with, but it doesn't really matter because her mother's now dead. So after... I'm sure huffing and puffing and you just killed your own mother what's obviously going through your own mind your insane mind and is I guess she had a feeling of needing to cut her mother's head off Jean takes a play out of the Isis playbook grabs a small kitchen knife and decapitates her mother now I'm looking for 210 Linvale Road. I am on Linvale Road. My GPS took me right here. However, I don't see the home where the crime was committed. The house would be standing right over where I'm looking at right now. However, it is just an empty field. Uh, this looks like it is a, some kind of a farm. So I don't know if the family just sold the house to this farm over here and they just demolished it and that was it but my best guess estimate is that the house used to stand uh, right behind these lines of trees right there so what do you do when you are a crazed 48 year old lunatic who has just strangled your mother and cut her head off what do you do well i'm gonna go show you what she did next currently i'm on state street here in trenton this is the capital of new jersey and this is the state house right here. Now, sorry, I can't get a better visual. They're doing 
some retrofitting on this place. But after Jean kills her mother, decapitates her, she drives to this building right here and there are some steps that she drove up to and she had crashed into a marble pillar. Now, of course, you're gonna have a lot of security. You're gonna have a lot of people here. Uh, so when she did that, there was already several security guards and uh, cops who patrolled the area. And she gets this white bag out of her car and she tells the cop that's looking at her like surprised at what's going on. She says, Merry Christmas. And the package rolls down by a woman's foot and the bag or the package opens up and there of course is Julia Zielinski's head looking right at her. So the woman screams, uh, it's a head, it's a head. And as soon as the police realized what was going on, Jean starts taking out the same knife that she cut her mother's head off and she starts slicing at her own neck. So she's trying to cut herself in her throat and uh, she severely hurt herself. And then finally the police, they grab her, subdue her. They put her in a straight jacket and lay her down on a stretcher. And by this time, this, this woman is, uh, is absolutely deranged out of her gourd. After Jean Zielinski is subdued and they go to her house and discover the rest of Julia's body, they took her to jail and booked her under the charge of first degree murder for her mother. And immediately they sent her to the psychiatric hospital, which is what you see across the street from you. Now she did have a murder trial and she was found not guilty by reason of insanity. And uh, she was committed for the rest of her life to the Trenton Psychiatric Hospital right here. And this is where she lived until her death in 2011 at the age of 80 years old. And uh, here we are, uh, the final stop, about three miles down from where the murder occurred. Uh, this is the grave of Julia Zielinski. She's buried with her husband, Carl. Yeah, just a very uh, vicious murder. Uh, that was done by the hands of somebody who, you know, by all intents and purposes, is just completely and utterly insane. I mean, to take your own mother's life, it's uh, nothing but pure uh, insanity. Rest in peace to Carl and Julia Zielinski. Okay, guys. Lamont at large. I will catch up with you on the next vlog. Have a good one, guys. Be good out there. Peace out.